my dear brothers and sisters today when we come together to worship the lord and to listen to his life giving word let us try to focus more on the power of the word of god when we come to the teachings of our lord jesus christ jesus himself is revealing what is the word of god and through his ministry he is teaching us and helping us to understand and experience the power of the word and how the word of god is doing miracles and mighty things you know uh, in jesus uh, personal ministry and life today i like to bring your attention to john chapter 6 verse 63 gospel of saint john chapter 6 verse 63 that jesus christ himself is teaching us what is the word of god jesus said the word i have spoken to you are spirit and life what is that spirit and life the word of god is holy spirit the word of god is life according to the teachings of jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters we know holy spirit is empowering is the third person in the most holy trinity is the empowerer is giving power always when we read the gospels we understand jesus christ was full of holy spirit luke chapter 4 verse 18 there the word of god is teaching the spirit of the spirit of god is upon me so jesus was full of holy spirit and that spirit was empowering jesus christ in the moments of difficulties temptations even attacks etc so jesus is teaching this empower holy spirit is dwelling in the word of god so whenever i receive the word of god whenever i am listening to the word of god whenever i am reflecting on word of god I am moving with the Holy Spirit. I am receiving Holy Spirit. I am listening to Holy Spirit. I am empowered in Holy Spirit. This is why the miraculous things are happening when we are listening to the word of God. For example, you know when we come to the gospel of Saint Luke, there Saint Gabriel is coming and speaking with the mother of Mary. He is giving the word of God to mother of Mary. You know, let us come to uh, Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter one, verses thirty-six to thirty-eight. You know, very specifically, when we are coming to verse thirty-eight, what is happening there? Okay, and just before that, angel is conversing with the Mother Mary. She was keenly listening to Saint Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, and she was listening to the words. You know. delivered by saint gabriel these words are the words of god an angel is the messenger of god he is delivering always the message of god the word of god therefore when mother mary was listening to uh, gabriel angel angel gabriel she was listening to god now specifically i am bringing your attention to uh, luke chapter 1 verse 38 And Mary said, "Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word." So she is surrendering herself to the word of God. She is receiving the word of God. She is accepting the word of God. What is the after effect? Immediately she was filled with the Holy Spirit. This is what Jesus is teaching. In John chapter six, verse six, sixty-three, the word I have spoken to you are spirit. There is spirit, and Mama Mary is receiving that word, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit, the empowerer. She had confusions, she had troubles, but the Holy Spirit is taking control over her mind, and she is quiet. She is keeping this word inside. She is pondering on that. She is quiet now. She is zealous now. She is immediately running to her cousin Elizabeth and doing a ministry there. So, my dear brothers and sisters, when we are listening to the word of God, the spirit in the word will, you know, 
start to take control of each and every one of us. Our situations, our minds, our troubles, our problems. Praise the Lord. And again, the same word, John 6.63, Jesus said, the word I have spoken to your spirit. We understood how the spirit comes and, uh, you know, helps us in our personal lives and spiritual life. Secondly, Jesus said, the word is life. According to the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verse uh, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, truth and life. So life is Jesus Christ himself. So Jesus is teaching us, the word is life. That means word is Christ. In word, I am dwelling. The word of God, there is spirit. The word of God, there is son. If spirit and son are there dwelling in the word of God, Father is, in, is also. It cannot be otherwise. Let us come to John chapter 1, verse 1. What is written there when we come to the Gospel of St. John, uh, chapter 1, verse 1. What is written there? The beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word was God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. Therefore, when we are listening to the word of God, we are receiving the Father, we are receiving the Son, we are receiving the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, what a beautiful thing it is. So when the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, they come together to a place, to a person, the entire situation will change. They will change. They will change it. Because a powerful God is coming to our hearts. So when we are opening our ears, opening our hearts, opening our lives and situations for the word of God, you are welcoming the trying God. And very specially, the Son and the Holy Spirit, they will change the situations. So miraculously. And again the best example is Mama Mary. You know when she was listening to the word of God. The Holy Spirit is coming inside. And a major miracle happened. In the history of you know humanity. We never heard such a miracle ever happen before. And we will never hear. Unless and until God wills. It will be repeated again. What is that? A virgin God conceived. Virgin Mary is God conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came upon her, when the Holy Spirit did that miracle, when she was listening to the word of God. According to human intellect, according to our reasoning, it is impossible, it is impossible a virgin is conceiving without uh, the, the cooperation of a man. It is impossible, but the word of God is teaching. You know, it is possible for God. Um, Luke chapter 1 verse 37, for with God nothing will be impossible. And the next word. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So today, whatever is impossible, it is possible. God will make possible the moment you are opening up your lives for Jesus Christ and his gospel. Miraculous things Jesus will do. Impossible things Jesus will do. And he will change the situations. So my dear brothers and sisters today. When we are listening to the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. To open our hearts when we read Acts of the Apostles. There the Apostles are opening the heart of a woman. Certain times the devil will come and close our hearts. He will close our hearts. So that no word will enter into our hearts. Word is not entering into our hearts. Spirit cannot enter. Son cannot enter into 
the father cannot enter into so the preaching of the word of God listening to the word of God reading the word of God reflecting on word of God it will change the situations provided we are opening up our hearts if you are struggling in that today you pray to Jesus he can open once he opens something nobody can close Isaiah 22 22 if he closes something then nobody can open so today the beginning of this service in the presence of Jesus Christ let us pray to Jesus Jesus my heart it is closed seven times for a few days weeks and months and struggling to open up myself to you right now by the power of Isaiah 22 22 you open my heart let your life giving spirit filled word of God let it enter into my heart and enter into my personal spiritual life and prayer life word will do miracles the word of God will do it right now for you my dear brothers and sisters again I am bringing your attention to another word that is gospel of St. Matthew gospel of St. Matthew chapter 8 gospel of St. Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 another powerful word that evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick so the word of God is teaching he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick so Jesus is using the word of God in order to cast out demonic powers in order to heal the sick people so when we are listening to the word of God same after effects we can experience we will also testify with our naked eyes by using the word Jesus is casting out demonic powers so when you are reading the gospel the word of God the same thing will happen in your personal life we are bound to certain sins bondages addictions habits Jesus Christ will break such a chains and demonic powers Jesus will deliver you the moment you are touching the word of God the moment you are reading the word of God the moment you are listening to the word of God because it is powerful there is father there is son there is Holy Spirit so it is so powerful so every time when you are listening to a preaching the word is coming and hitting you the word is coming and hitting the bondages the word is coming and breaking the chains belief and again the miraculous healing start taking place when Jesus is, is using the word of God so physical healings mental healings inner healings deliverance anointing of the Holy Spirit so what a wonderful word what a wonderful power you know the word is having so every, every preaching is important every minute you are spending with the Bible that is important that will change your present life and future that will that will take away the problems we are going through now another passage I would like to bring your attention to another beautiful passage that is in the Old Testament the book of Ezekiel book of Ezekiel chapter 37 book of Ezekiel chapter 37 the heading is this you all know the passage the valley of dry bones the valley of dry bones you know what is happening there God is asking the prophet to go to the dry bones and uh, asking him is it possible for the dry bones to come back to life prophet is not answering properly he's telling you no my lord my god 
But what God is suggesting in order to bring back the dry bones, not even dead body, dry bones, separated pieces. There is no flesh, there is no skin, there is no weights, nothing. There is no, not even a least possibility for them to come back to life. But what the God is suggesting, that's important, that's beautiful. That is a vital thing here. 37, uh, chapter 37, verse 4. Again he said to me, prophesy to these bonds and say to them, or oh, dry bonds, hear the word of the Lord. Prophesy means preach the word of God, give the word of God, according to the book of Revelation. There is another meaning for prophecy, the testimony of Lamb, or giving testimony to the Lamb means uh, preaching the word of God, giving the word of God. And clearly it is said, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So God is giving a solution to make it possible, an impossible thing, the dry bones to come back to life. Ask them to listen to the word of God. Did prophet do that? Yes, he obeyed God. Verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me and the spirit came into them and they lived and stood up their feet and exceedingly great host. See, the moment he obeyed God, listened to the word of God, received the word of God, through his mouth the Holy Spirit is going to the dry ones. They're coming to life. See, the moment the dry ones are listening to, the moment the prophet is listening to, spirit is becoming very much active in the prophet. At the same time, the same spirit is walking in the dry ones. And again, come to, you know, the next two words. Then we find, you know, Uh, we can see that you know everything is coming together slowly slowly you know uh, in verse 7 I prophesied as it was commanded as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a rattling and the bones came together born to its uh, bone see the flesh is coming vein is coming life is coming and at last you know when we come to verse 14 and I will put my spirit within you and you shall live I will place you in your own land. <coughs> so my dear brothers and sisters, the moment the prophet is listening to the word of God, using the word of God, miraculous things are happening. We will never understand with our own intellect and reason how it is happening, but it is the power of the word of God. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. So if you are thinking that, it will never happen in my life. It will happen in your life. If you take the Bible, if you read the word of God, if you accept the word of God, if you love the word of God, if you receive the word of God, you are receiving Father, Son and Holy Spirit and they will make it possible. If you think that your marriage is dried off, your relationship is dried off, it is broken forever, now just like the body is coming on the board, the other board, just like the flesh is coming up and the skin is coming and the weight is coming into over the dry ball, exactly like that the word of God will do all these things in your marriage also. It is symbolical. Life will come, energy will come, it will be refreshed and renewed by the work of the Holy Spirit the moment you are going yourself into the word of God. The moment you are surrendering yourself to the word of God, accepting the word of God, willingly taking them into your heart and putting into practice them in your life, the word of God will do the rest. So in short, in the today what I was trying to say, the word of God is spirit, the word of God is life, Jesus Christ himself, the word is God, the Father, therefore when you are welcoming the word, Father, Son and Holy Spirit are coming into our lives. When we are receiving the word of God, what will happen in the lives of Mother Mary will happen in your lives. Quite impossible things will start to happen in your life. Holy Spirit will come and possess you. 
Holy Spirit will drive away the troubles you have, the confusions you have. When you listen to the word of God, word will come and deliver you just as Jesus delivered and cast out demonic powers from the lives of the people. Healings will come, mental healings, physical healings, inner healings and the dry bonds means the broken relationships, the emotional things that will start to happen in our day to day life. So my dear brothers and sisters, when you are listening to me, I humbly requesting you in the light of this word of God that we received and listened to, make a resolution today. Make a resolution today. Ask and pray for a gift today to Jesus. Jesus Christ, give me the gift of reading word of God. Make a resolution to spend word of God with the word of God every day, minimum, minimum 15 minutes minimum if possible half an hour again if it is possible one hour the time you are spending with the word you are spending with father son and holy spirit after that what are you going to experience father son and holy spirit so that divine experience you can have here right now in your personal life day to day life spend your time with the word of god the scripture then Spirit will come. Deliverance will happen. Healings will happen. Impossible things will happen. At the moment you are reading it loud in your house, in your family, deliverance will happen in your house. Deliverance will happen in the lives of the family members because the word is proclaimed and it is powerful. Healings will happen in your relationships. Lord of protection will come. Spirit will come. So today, let us pray to Jesus to bless us with the gift of reading the word of God, loving the word of God, and living the word of God. Forever, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you and praise you for blessing us with your life-giving word. John chapter 1 verse 14, the word became flesh and that's you. So whenever we are touching the word, we are touching you. When we are reading the word, we are listening to you. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are the power and person behind every written scripture in the Bible. Therefore, when we are reading to, uh, listening to the Bible, help us to understand the scripture. Strengthen us to uh, put into practice what is written there, to accomplish the will of God in our personal lives. Oh Father, you are so loving and merciful, that's why you sent your only Son into this world, so that the Word became flesh. So have mercy on us to open our hearts and to receive the Word of God, the Savior Jesus Christ, into our hearts and lives. So whatever is blocking us right now, by the power of the Word we receive, Jesus, you break the Holy Spirit, anoint us right now. Sprinkle your holy blood, Jesus, you upon each and every one of us. Sprinkle your blood upon each and every one of us, our ears, our hearts, our lives, our problems, so that our senses will be sanctified, our heart will be opened and sanctified to receive the word of God. Mama Mary, the seed for us, you are the first one listening to the word of God in the New Testament. You are the first one pointed on the word of God. And you are the first one to receive the Holy Spirit through the word of God. Help us. Intercede for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.